Look there. Third world country. Cape Town, South Africa. Third world country for what? For who? For the first world country owners, massacres. Slave systems. Banking systems. Pharmaceutical systems. IT systems. Make us slaves. We will pay. They close the economy. Yes. They close the economy. They don't close the banks. Debit orders. Personal loans. Credit card payments. Home loans. Vehicle finance. Going off your bank account. Can't work. Look here, Sarah Ramapuza. It's one rand. A fale. Two rand. A fale. Five rand. Fale. Net so fale around to say more. Flays and massacres. You take. But your money is worth less when the rain falls. Third world country for what? Listen. It's all these systems. It's in the Bible. They say one nation will take over the next. Look at the sea. Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. God helped him to open the sea. Imagine. Sarah Ramapuza closed the beach because he doesn't have the power to close the sea. Look at all those ships on the water there. It wasn't given to him. Jesus walk on the sea. Yes. We need leaders like Jesus with integrity. And fight for the poor, Master. All these slave systems, free us. Jesus healed the sick for free. Doctors, Master, can buy a donut for visit. Pharmaceutical industry. Jesus, the Steve Pa, as a carpenter, carpenters in the building industry. You know how wealthy the building industry is today? Donald Trump is in the building industry. Yes. Look at all these buildings. It cost a lot of money to build them, rent, sell them. Massive industry. All these slave systems, guys. We need leaders like Jesus. We can walk on the water. Faith. All these systems. They're killing us with systems. People worried about WhatsApp, and Telegram. They've been mining data for years. For years. You can't even make a payment on your banking app without putting your location on why? they want to know where you are, where you're paying it from they're selling information guys it's the time of the one-eyed devil yes you wake up in the morning you check your phone you don't have data you know how much money you spend on data? huh? you don't even need airtime anymore you don't need airtime to pray Masakanas we need leaders that's not compromise the integrity that's not gonna compromise the poor Jesus gave fish bread to the poor fish you saw that sucker I can't later we are worshiping the sun you will see underneath the cross there's always a sun people don't realize Sun God, Master Kanas, Dagon. You look at the Pope, turn to the side, you'll see the mitre. Dagon. So the God suck, Master Kanas. Must flatten the curve. Yes. The spiritual war, this. Spiritual war over power. People don't realize. The Vakas love, Master Kanas. Spiritual war. Systems, guys, data is the new one. They, they empower us, put out tweets, and post on social media, make videos. People must follow you, likes and shares. Likes and shares, Masakanas. We spend all our money on data, yes. We don't follow God, we want them to follow us. And we pay for them, yes. We pay for our egos. It's all in the Bible. New Testament, the four corners, the hookah, the fear hookah, the trunk, the systems, yes, they, they make it so, 
uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Three books in the New, New Testament. The, the, the speaks about Jesus. Yes. Uh, in the world, they've got north, east, south, and west. You see the four corners. It's always been there. It's always been there. You must just open your eyes. Make us slaves. They, they send us into lockdown. Yes. And then they ask us to pray. But we, we, we got addicted to our laptops and our, and our cell phones. And we are compromised, you see. Digital slaves, we, we look and we scroll. Now they, they have control over, over our mind, control over our, 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 our movements. Uh, the algorithms is the one-eyed devil. You, you wake up, you check, you scroll, and, and you participate willingly. Uh, social media, uh, some politicians, uh, policemen, uh, prisoners, uh, pastors, they, they use the same power over our lives. You see, in, in some cases, for, for personal gain, pride, confusion, divide and conquer, uh, create panic and, and fear. It, it, it's it's, it's the, the biggest lie, because we're all gonna die, you see. Yes, they, they have they have our blood certificates. Uh, it was given uh, on the day, but they don't know when we're gonna die. Only God knows. The, the coming of the Lord but what if they could create a virus and a disease uh, predict massive deaths and that information with this strategic planning it, it could benefit uh, some of the captains of industry uh, and, and, and compromise you know the competitor even and, and maybe maybe China won the, the 5 year race uh, in principle or maybe it's America or the Queen of England or Russia's Putin or even the Vatican in Rome or, or maybe even the Emperor no no Norohito from Japan. We, we don't know. They, they will probably make a documentary one day. You know, the, the, the question is who owns the infrastructure, the 5 g towers? It's, it, it's, it's all over these countries. It's, it's, it's faster. The one-eyed devil. Uh, lots of this, lots of money in, in data. You see, your smartphone hides airtime. It only comes alive with data. Even your calendar and your clock on your cell phone it uses data now. You can check the settings, uh, the apps running in the background. You see, we, we live in this world, but we exist in the digital. We, we look and we scroll yet. We have no control. It's the robots, the algorithms, uh, predict the dialer, uh, data mining. They've been mining data for years. You know, you've you've arrived when when you type in, for example, Johan, and, and Google suggests Rupert. Uh, we, you know, we, we, you type in Yanni, and then Google suggests Muton, uh, Marcus. Google suggests Yuster, uh, Patrice. Mosepe, Cyril, Ramaphosa, Ace, Mahasule. You know when your name pops up like that. Yet with, with, with all the technology, it's 2021. Uh, our people must stand in queues at the, the post office. Like beggars. The post office, guys. All the banking systems, uh, apps, uh, IT infrastructure available right here in this country, in this time. So slaves like beggars. They make them stand there in the in the hot sun, in the rain weather. You, you can come now, Lord. It appears that uh, Amal in it, cell phones in data. They will they will see you on the clouds of, of glory. The question is, who owns South Africa? Because when China got Corona, we got the new South African variant. Kind of Abel Frechma, yes. Who owns our land, the slave contracts, and the debtors book, guys? Julius Malema blames white people for bringing Corona from Italy. White people own our land. It's horse blinkers. It's in the doctrine of racism, guys. You see, Julius Malema must stop looking to the deeds office. Start looking at slave systems, the trade deals, the debtors contracts. The real owners of this world Guys, it's not color. It's the people without faces. See, this is South Africa. We owned farming, the land, the soil, and the water, textile, the
the fisheries industry. We owned coal, gas, gold, diamonds, platinum, iron, and the trees that they made furniture of. Now these days everything gets imported. We owned the best beaches, prime property, got sold. Now they own the industries, contracts, relationships, patents, and all the systems that comes with it. Systems over our lives. And we participate willingly in offer our cheap labor just to secure that job. Work is being sold at our disadvantage. They make us slaves. Third world country. What happened to second world country? The Soviet Union. This was and is still a great country, guys. The first heart transplant was done right here in South Africa. Yet, we don't create coronavirus vaccines. It's all these patent laws. You know, remember the Roy Falk helicopter? South Africa. But then Zuma sold. He sold us and he bought arms deals from first world countries. And we're still paying that debt. Remember Mark Satterworth and Elon Musk? born in South Africa, yet our people stand in queues like beggars at the post office. 2021, with all the technology available in this country, at the post office, guys. Remember Valentine's Day? Oscar Pistorius made right here. Apparently the devil was an advocate. They say crime doesn't pay. Then why did Oscar Pistorius sell his house and all his cars just to pay for his legal fees? Even Mandela was a lawyer. He said never and never again. Yet, COVID-19 got mutated right here in South Africa. Now they're shifting blame to the third world countries. Medicine, vaccines get sold here. But why is the rest of Africa clear from coronavirus yet? South Africa had over a million infected right now. We need leaders with wisdom, vision, understanding, and integrity, guys. Not ones who sell this country to greedy, power-hungry, so-called first world countries. Or closing our place of work. But not the banks. How much you pay? Work was an instruction from God. People don't have jobs, yet the ones that have a job can't go work. This is a great country, guys. Even now, there are foreigners, people at the borders right now begging to come into South Africa despite all the coronavirus cases. This can't be a subtle country like Donald Trump said. Because many of them, these first world country millionaires and billionaires, got made off the backs of African countries, of African countries' resources and minerals. Today they are scattered all over the world. Don't talk down on us and don't pity us. You invest your money you made right here back into Africa and call it trade deals. I don't think business and local economy will survive the ignorance and the arrogance of this government. For me, the war really is against the captains of industry or some of them. It appears to be government versus the owners of Fomermans. Who owns the Bolinia Club? Who owns Remgro, Mediclinic, PSG, Pepco, Soprite, Steinhoff, Capitec, First Rent, EPSA, Naspers, KWV, Brandhaus? Who owns SAB Miller? I sometimes think it's about the white elite versus the black elite. Black economic empowerment versus capital. Afrikaner versus the Chinese, SAB Miller versus snow beer from China. Because the Belgians and the Brazilians from AB InBev, they had to sell their interest in snow beer from China before they could purchase SAB Miller. But kind of Abel Frickemar, who owns our land, the slave contracts, and the debtors' book. It's the irony, the elephant in the room, of course when government allow the taxi industry to operate. Yet, taverns not allowed to operate. You see, the ban on alcohol industry not only eats restaurants, the entertainment industry, but taverns, guys. Off-site, on-site consumption. 
thousands of jobs and now compromise a controlled environment yet this tax is a controlled environment now consumers are paying even more more than double for alcohol on the black market the transport industry delivery of alcohol diesel vehicle maintenance the glass industry console what is the real unemployment rate tell us people must work it was an instruction from god it's in the bible the question really why would government part billions of investments from those companies sacrifice the taverners their livelihoods yet allow the taxi industry to operate at full capacity transporting corona in a minibus taxi it's the profit and greed versus the lives of people do i want to die on an empty stomach can i feed my kids with a plate of love listen will you tell your child yeah drink a glass of compassion and now it appears that some of the churches got hijacked by fake pastors Bosheri, Bosheri, Bosheri. And just like that, he's gone. Gone like Marcus Joester. Gone like the Guptas. Gone like Srindavani. Gone like Johan Steinberg. The murder trading international Bitcoin. Dude ran away with millions and millions of the people's Bitcoins. People got bit by the idea of a Bitcoin. It's in the Bible, Masakunas. Judas got paid 30 silver coins. Greed. Jesus got bitten by that snake. Now, we have a new monetary system called Bitcoin. It's the irony, don't you see? Selling off our country, but by but by Bitcoin. Jesus washed their feet. We must wash our hands. It's in the Bible. They come here, they take what they want. And our leaders, our justice system, the police, the intelligence agencies, our borders, our leaders, the manners and the oomas. Maybe that is what makes us third world country. All these bribes. It is written in the Bible, do not accept a bribe, for a bribe blinds those who see and twist the words of the innocent. They come here and they patent medicine, guys. Our government is sleeping, or are they? Are they perhaps taking the bribe? The omkop Are they helping us, or are they milking us? Blame the rand versus dollar versus pound versus the euro exchange rate for inflated pricing, extracting more value from the works of our labor hard earned wage and salaries there's power in the name of jesus but now it appears there's power in bribes too even if it's for a moment these fools don't care because they say money makes the world go round and just like that we sit in a deficit yes maybe that's what donald trump meant by shit all country because these leaders they take the bribe and wipe their slave masters ass after they take a shit hence the saying don't shit where you sleep we can't afford these loans guys the ANC keeps on reminding us how they used to go to prison during apartheid the ones that fled into exile yet today our children are in slavery and their children are free educated and tender pranias yes tender pranias anyways pastor you know this you must tell those greedy politicians one of the first lockdowns was recorded in the bible genesis moses told the israelites to go in mark their doors with the blood of the lamb god's spirit came took the firstborn child of all those who didn't comply 
a firstborn to carry the weight of the family, the breadwinners. But they, they got minister of nine o'clock, Becky Chele, to advocate a message of going to bed, nine o'clock. Huh? Then they chase people off the beach, while the lawlessness continue amongst us, in our neighborhoods, gangsters and criminals, roam our neighborhoods, companies closing down, tourist attraction, working was an instruction from God. We are adults. We are not being treated as such. Treat us like children. So to the captains of industry, listen, there's no loyalty with hyenas. Because they rob, they steal and they manipulate. When you have fruit cook, make greedy politicians. This government, you don't trust us, yet we must trust you. We trust you, but you fail us every time. Even the previous government, God has never failed us. Stop trying to play God. You can't free us. In fact, it took you just 26 years to put our economy in ruinous debt. We are a country enslaved. You don't have power. You don't know power. Power gets born in faith, not in ESCOM. Your power is money, greed and selfishness. Your glory and your money gets taken by the first world country systems. It never holds its value. You trade in rent. You fail in rent. Jesus was born in a stable. Three wise men came and gave Auntie Mary and Uncle Joseph gold, frankincense and myrrh. What did you do with the gold, Auntie Mary? Did you invest or send Jesus to university? Where is the missing scriptures of, of Jesus' youth? Now people think Jesus was poor, meek and vulnerable because he was born in a stable. Listen, when Jesus went to Jerusalem, he arrived in style. Angerai op a donkey car. Yes. A donkey is a wonderful thing. A donkey was the Rolls Royce of those years. They, they, they put palm tree branches tucker on the ground when Jesus entered the city. These days, politicians arrive in fancy cars and suits paid for by the poor taxpayers, the slaves. They walk the red carpet almost like they're walking through the Red Sea. They wave for us. Look at me, I'm very important. It's all in the Bible, don't you see? Yet, they make no sacrifices, only remind us of those who fled South Africa into exile, fled almost like Moses fled. Yet, we are in exile today, in our own country, a country rich of minerals and resources owned by other nations. I bet this place called exile must have been a fantastic place because all your children are educated. So many young tenderpreneurs powered by politics, black elite. Is that lie? You want us to believe that lie? You remind us every day. Even when we look for work, that system of racism, of BEE, our curse became your curse. Listen, Jesus spent 40 days in the desert fasting, went on to feed and teach thousands. No BEE, -E, the Sermon on the Mount. ANC government teaches selectively, racial preference, Africans in particular. Then they even steal the food parcels, the food parcels of the poor. It's all in the Bible, don't you see? Israel has spent 40 years in the wilderness. The ANC was founded in 1912, fighting for our freedom until 1994. That's 82 years, who won? The ANC elite or the people of South Africa? You brought us nothing but plague, corruption and division. Whilst perpetuating a message of exclusion. That's why your own house, the house of Latuli, Latuli house is divided to this day. Ill-gotten gains do not profit, but the righteous deliver.
from death and the house that's divided cannot stand. It is clear from his ministry that Jesus must have known real money and power because he instructed Zacharias to come down that tree. Now this is profound. He pledged to give half of his goods to the poor and if he had taken anything from any man by false accusation, he would restore him fourfold. Which one of these rich politicians got integrity? They can climb down and follow truth. When the devil took Jesus up that high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of this world and its glory, the devil offered Jesus all these things. If he falls down and worship him, how many of our leaders fell down and sold this country out for instant wealth? And it's the irony. For when the rain falls, your money decreases, putting you back into a cycle of taking more to maintain your lifestyle. How many of you are corrupted? How many Eismachersoules out there that refuse to climb down and step aside? Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness. No water on Tibet. It's dry in the wilderness. Mensen betaal baie vir water, baie vir expensive electricity. Have you been good? How have you made the lives of our people easier? And the Vuvuzela makes the loudest noise. Jolias Malema, zeal without knowledge. First world country investors, the real owners, the people without faces. They use that Vuvuzela to sort the rain. And I sometimes wonder if that Vuvuzela gets blown for free. And just like that, money is worth less, debt is worth more, yet the power you took make you look like fools. Yes, Juju, Psalm 14 verses 1 says, The fool in his heart says there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is none who does good. We follow money and slave systems. Pontus Pilate asked Jesus, what is truth? I ask, would you even believe? Did Jesus give his life or did they kill him? The sun goes down every day. His son sak yaka dag masakanas. Jesus rose on the third day. And there is a difference. I have a son. His name is Jaden. Would I sacrifice my son for this world? Would I sacrifice myself for my son? That's the question. The answer is, I don't have that strength. But thankfully, God has done it for us. It is done. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 15 says, Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no one remember that same poor man. We must take care of our sons and daughters, Masakanas. Stop running and start taking back what they have stolen from us. Be enslaved no more.